Hi, I'm Mark Ashcroft. I'm here at IMS in Boston this year, 2019, in Boston, Massachusetts. We're here with the 9404 5 GHz SX RTO. Quite an exciting oscilloscope, a new architecture, and at a price just a tad below $15,000, a new architecture that achieves a rather low cost uh, for a 5 GHz 4 channel oscilloscope. Um, as you can see, I've got on the screen here, I've um, I've got, well actually I've got from our pulse generator, the PG900, uh, I've got a fast rise 50 picoseconds, a fast fall 50 picosecond edge, I've got one on channel 3, one on channel 4, uh, and I'm subtracting the two from one another uh, to get a narrow pulse. And the narrow pulse allows me to um, demonstrate the zoom factor, so the little zoom window there uh, is enlarged for us on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, so what we're looking at there is 50 picoseconds per division. Um, we're sampling that form at one tera sample per second and as you can see we're doing that with really quite low jitter. Uh, jitter of the order of one and a half picoseconds RMS typical uh, so it should be less than 1.8 guaranteed. If we take a look at some of the uh, measurements that I can make here, I've got uh, positive width being measured, I've got rise time and fall time being measured for this pulse, and you can see that the um, software conveniently displays all the mesials that I've got associated with that measurement, the top, the base, the 90, the 50, and the 10% uh, mesials. Um, I can control those mesials, I can simply grab them, pull them up and down. I know that in the scientific world we quite often see pulses measured at the 30% mesial and you can see I can do that, that can be set quite accurately in the menu. Uh, and now we have a pulse width of about 160 picoseconds uh, being displayed here. Uh, the mean over time, let's just clear the mean. And uh, what have we got? We've got uh, about 162 picoseconds there as the mean. Um, another little um, interesting demonstration I can do here is to let's uh, let's pull up uh, a slightly different setup. Um, on this setup, I'm bringing into uh, channel one a signal from our uh, Agile synthesizer. I'm bringing in a little burst of one gigahertz sine, then two gigahertz, three gigahertz, four gigahertz, five gigahertz, six gigahertz. And there you can see, in effect, the gentle roll off uh, of the bandwidth of this uh, five gigahertz oscilloscope. Um, the, AS, the AS108 is generating that pattern. The pattern duration is about, uh, ooh, what, uh, five, five milliseconds per division? Yeah, just over five milliseconds, uh, that pattern uh, at the moment. Uh, on, the, uh, on the bottom here, from, the, from ch into channel two, I'm using a, the second AS108. Uh, the two uh, synthesizers have been synchronized together. That's one of the important facilities on the AS108. We can uh, synchronize multiple units. Uh, so down here I'm uh, generating a little burst of 2 gigahertz carrier. Uh, and um, what we want to try and do is make some measurements on that burst, but we want to make measurements on the uh, on the envelope uh, there rather than the carrier that we're displaying. What I can do is I can put this into envelope mode and now uh, the oscilloscope is, um, is tracing out the envelope of that carrier. And you may be able to see now, down in my measurement window, on channel 2, I'm measuring a pulse width of 6 milliseconds. Sorry, a period, a wave period of 6 milliseconds. A positive width of, what, 3.6 milliseconds. And I've got rise and fall time there of my envelope. 
Now that's uh, quite an important characteristic of the um, 9404 SXRTO. We have the ability to uh, make envelope measurements on RF carriers that lie within the bandwidth of the product. Uh, so this might be um, uh, Wi-Fi data, it might be mobile phone data. Okay, so that's just a quick look at what we're doing here at IMS. We've got the VNA on the stand. We've, you can see we've got the synthesizers. We've got the new SXRTO. We've got the uh, pulse generator here. Um, and we've got our 9300 uh, uh, sampling scope uh, behind me as well. Uh, we've been very busy at the show, so no doubt we'll be back again next year in uh, Los Angeles.